Welcome back to the channel. Now, while doing VLOOKUP, most of us stick to the exact match. But do you know, an approximate match can be a game changer in certain scenarios. In this video, I am going to tell you when and where to use an approximate match. Okay? So, let's dive in. Now, an approximate match returns the highest value less than or equal to the lookup value if an exact match is not found. So, if you do not get an exact match, what happens? The approximate match keeps on looking for all the values which are less than or equal to the lookup value. Okay? And once it goes through them, it returns the highest value. Okay? So, let's demonstrate this with the help of an example. Now, I, out here, we have got a simple database wherein there is monthly sales performance of a few employees and to, to our right, there is a monthly commission structure, right? So, there is a sales range and within this range, if somebody performs, then he or she is entitled to some commission, right? Now, in this table or this call, uh, data, the sales range column, these are all text values and this is for visual representation. But we are more bothered about this part. So, since we be, will be using a VLOOKUP formula, so we have introduced this new column which says minimum sales. So, basically it's nothing but the lowest value of all these you can pretty well understand from the data itself and its corresponding commission. Now, how do we determine the commission rate that each of these employees on the left hand side table are entitled to based on the commission structure, right? So, before we start, let us say out of the entire table, we are only concerned with this part. So, I will shade it in a different color. Now, to start with, I will write equals V lookup. Now, what would be our lookup value? We are trying to look up uh, this thing, which is the total sales volume which is 12,000 or contents of cell C3, comma, which is our table array. So, where, where do we look for these values so that we can determine the commission? So, it is on the right. So, this is our array, right? Because this is what we are concerned about because I have already told you that the sales range is for visual representation, right? So, let us make it an absolute reference because it is going to stay there. I will just press F4. And uh, then we need to find out where the commission rate is displayed. So, in our case, it is in the second column. So, this is the first column, this is the second column, 2. And finally, we need to tell Excel about the range lookup. Default is approximate match, and there is the exact match which most of us use. Now, let us for the argument's sake use the exact match. I will close the bracket and I get an error. Now, if I drag this thing down, I am getting errors for all of them. Just in one case, E111, this employee gets her commission rate displayed. So, why is it so? Because total sales is 1 lakh and here up, up in this column, the left, left hand side column, 1 lakh is there. So, there is an exact match. But since for the rest of the values, it does not find a match with the sales figure, hence it is giving me an error. Now, let us say instead of an exact match, if I choose approximate match. In that case, you get the results for all the employees, right? So, what is happening basically? So, let us take the example of, let us say this one, Manish Tiwari, okay? Now, in this case, this employee has a total sales of 42,000 rupees. Now, what does VLOOKUP do is, it goes to this data and tries to find out 42,000. It does not get 42,000, so it is not an exact match. Then, the next thing what it does is, it do, tries to look for values which are less than or equal to 42,000. So, in our case, we will be getting these three values. One is 0, 10,000 and 20,000. So, these are the three sales figures which are less than or equal to the lookup value which is 42,000. Now, among them, it returns the highest value. So, this is the 20,000. So, this is among 10,000, 20,000 and 0. 20,000 is the highest. 
then it goes over to the following column since we have mentioned we want the results from column 2 it gives us the result of 7 percent ok. Now, there is a rider to it for an approximate match to work the lookup column has to be sorted in ascending order if you can see out here it is sorted in ascending order if not then the approximate match would not work ok. And that is how you can use approximate match in VLOOKUP to solve real world problems. You can uh, use it in different scenarios like uh, finding tax rate or maybe giving grade to students and so on. There are many cases where you can use approximate match. So, if you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your excel buddies and also mention in the comment section whether you knew about approximate match, whether you have used it before or was it the first time that you were learning about it, right. Now, do not forget to hit the bell icon and press the subscribe button and do not miss out on the next series on excel that we publish. See you in another video.